It's called Poem Against the State of Things. Wherever I go these days, the tide seems low. Oh, wherever I go these days, the tide seems very, very low. Attica, Allende, America. Welcome to the Sunday school of out front machine guns and secretive assassinations. Everybody welcome. Put your money on the plate, your feet on the floor, and better keep a bodyguard standing at the open door. Everybody welcome. Almighty, multinational, corporate, incorporeal, bank of the world, the World Bank, diplomacy, and gold. This is the story. This is the prayer. Rain fell Monday, the 13th, 1971. Attica, coal stone covered by a cold moonlight hidden by the night. When 1,500 black, Puerto Rican, white, one or two, altogether 1,500 men plus 38 hostages, former keepers of the keys to the ugliest big house of them all. 1,538 men lay sleeping in a long wait for the sun and not one with a gun not one with a gun. Oh, wherever I go, the tide seems low. 1,538 prisoners in prison at Attica, they lay sleeping in a long, long wait for the sun, and not one with a gun, not one with a gun. But they were not really alone. Attica, Allende, America, Despite the quiet of the cold moonlight on the cold stone of the place, despite the rain that fell, transforming the D-yard blankets and tents into heavyweight, soggy and sweltering hell, the brothers were hardly alone. On the roofs, on the walkways, in turrets and tunnels, from windows and whirlybirds overhead, the state lay in wait. Attica attacked troops, wearing masks, carrying gas canisters, and proud to be white, proud to be doing what everyone can for the man. Attica attacked troops, lay armed at the ready, legalized killers, hard chewing gum to master an all-American impatience to kill, to spill blood, to spill blood of the bloods, and not one with a gun. The state lay in wait. Attica attacked troops carrying pistols and big game 270 rifles and Ithaca model 37 shotguns with double O buckshot and also shotguns appropriate for anti-vehicle duty or shotguns appropriate for reducing a cement block wall to rubble. They were ready for what? Oh, wherever I go these days, the tide seems low. 1,538 prisoners lay waiting for the next day's sun. 1,538 brothers asleep, and not one with a gun, and not one with a gun. Why did the brothers revolt against Attica? Why were they there? What did they want? The minimum wage, less pork, fresh fruit, religious freedom, and more than one shower a week. What did they want? A response, recognition as men. We are men, they declared. We are men. We are not beasts and do not intend to be beaten or driven as such. Attica, Allende, America, the state lay in wait. Black women weeping at the cold stone wall. Rain stops and blood begins to fall. Jackpot one was the animal cry of the state in its final reply. Jackpot one was the cry. 9.26 a.m., Monday the 13th, September 1971. Police, state troopers, prison guards, helicopters, the Attica attack troops terrified the morning, broke through to the beasts within them, beasts unleashed by the almighty, multinational, corporate, incorporeal bank of the world, the spoilers of Harlem, Cambodia, Cambodia, Chile, Detroit, the Philippines, Oakland, Montgomery, Dallas, South Africa, Albany, Attica, Attica, the Attica killers, the almighty state shot, murdered, massacred, 43 men, 43 men. The other brothers, they were gassed and beaten, bleeding or not, still clubbed and beaten. Nigga, you should have got it through the head. Nigga, you gone wish that you were dead. Nigga. Monday the 13th, September 1971, Attica. Blood fell on the brothers, not one with a gun. Black woman weeping into cold stone. Wherever I go these days, 
the tide seems low. Oh, wherever I go these days, the tide seems very, very low. God's love has turned away from this almighty place. But I will pray one prayer while he yet grants me time and space. No more and never again. No more and never again. Amen.